I kind of thought it was going to be like really loud, like all the things you see on TV of trading floors and really, like you say, really aggressive, really loud people. But I think it's a lot more sort of welcoming. It's a, it's not as intimidating as I thought it would be. I thought there was going to be a lot less responsibility. So I thought I would be getting people's coffees and answering the phones and things. Um, but actually, from the moment I turned up, they had projects already assigned to me. And I was surprised by how much responsibility I got. No, I think I felt similarly. I thought it was almost going to be more competitive than it was. I thought as a grad I'd be very annoying to people and that people wouldn't have much time for me and I was going to be under a lot of pressure to become as good as they are with not very much help. But actually I was surprised to find that people are so patient, they're a lot calmer than I had envisaged. At first I didn't, I didn't think about applying at all because I just thought it's a big organisation, I'm not, not really interested. And then. I thought that it's quite forward thinking doing a coding competition because it's actually testing the skills in which I'd be doing. I've been lucky enough to do some external training as well. My boss was very keen for me to do some presentation training. So we had a theatre director come in and talk to us about how best to present yourself. And as a junior, I'd only been here less than a month when they did that. And it's not like those skills are going to be useful to me straight away. So I kind of assumed that I wouldn't be invited to these things but my boss was so keen to get me out there, get me learning. My team are really keen at finding out how I want to advance for my role, so it's not, there isn't a set personality that they want me to become. They say to me, you know, where, where do you think your skills lie and how can we help you with that? So I also had external training in um, learning a new coding language and things like that. And I get to really, I get to do my job and I get to do what they want me to do, but decide how I'm going to best fit into that job but my boss has set me up in different placements around my office, so he's already set me up spending a week with cash management, spending a week with GTS, spending a week with different areas within the bank, so he gives me the opportunity to see what other people in the bank do and think maybe that's where I want to go in the future. I think for me, like looking forward and stuff, I'd really like to work somewhere else in the world, so I'd like to work in our New York office or I'd like to work in Asia, doing what I do now, but seeing how that differs around the world. Uh, that was something I got introduced through the Early Careers Network um, last year with the breakfast sessions. They had uh, the internal mobility uh, lady in who came and gave us a talk about all the different opportunities that they have. And they're, they're, all, they're all just for internal hires. Mm -hmm. And there's like 100 every two weeks or whatever, so there's definitely stuff Yeah, and, and jobs are definitely available to internal hires before they're available to external hires, which is great because you're ahead of the curve in a way. I think what's really nice is the culture here that people don't want to keep you in like your one role that you're in. They're really keen to push you and so they really are here to help you develop your careers and do what's best for you, which is really nice because it's not always the case.